Hi, I'm Tim with DIY Machining. What's the first thing you want to do when you have your CNC machine up and running? You want to run a G-code program. I'll walk through how to do that. The first thing we need is to load some kind of marking device into the spindle. In this case, I've installed just a short little pencil because of the way I have my machine set up with my vise already installed. I didn't have enough clearance to get a full-size marker in there. Markers tend to work really well because of the felt tip. They're a little more compliant when you go to find your Z0. So next, what we need to do is find our X, Y, and Z0 locations. You simply go into the manual, the machine control tab, and jog the machine to where you want the X and Y and Z0 to be. In this case, I'm going to set the Z0 by using this little piece of paper and slowly jog down until I can't move the paper anymore. And that's how I'll know that I found my Z0. So I can hit reset Z axis there. I'm actually going to put a couple more thousands in just to make sure I get good contact between the pencil and the paper. It tells the machine that now you're at the, the Z0 position. So we can jog up just a little bit so we're not touching the paper. Now we can find the X and Y zero position. And I'm just going to put it somewhere close to the center of the paper. It doesn't have to be perfect for what we're doing here. And once you get the position you want in the X and the Y, you hit the reset Y and the reset X axis. I would like to, just for safety's sake, is jog up away from the workpiece before I start and run any G-code program. Now, load the program onto your machine controller. In this case, it's a simple circle program. It's called circle.nc. You can download the file, the G-code file, from, by using a link in the description below, or you can just copy and paste the actual G-code that's also in the description below. And you can save that into a text file and save it as a name.nc. And as long as you do that, you'll be able to open the file and run that on your machine. Loaded that program. Copy that to the machine controller. The idea to run G-code programs directly off of a USB thumb drive. So then we can go into Universal G-code Center again. You go to the File Mode tab. Then we look for the Browse button, and then browse to wherever we just saved that program. Program, and hit Open to give it a couple seconds to load the actual program. The Send button. So as this draws the circle, one thing I always like to do just after I hit the Send button is I move the mouse right over the Pause button. So if anything goes wrong, I can just hit the, the mouse button and it'll stop the program. So I can hit pause right now and that stops the machine. And then I can hit resume and it picks up where it left off to continue the program. You've just run your first G-Code program. Right, there you have it. That's all it takes to run a G-Code program. If you liked the video, I appreciate the thumbs up. And as always, feel free to check out the links below. That's where you can go to download the G-Code program. Or again, you can copy and paste the G-Code listed below. Save it as a text file. Just save it as a name, .nc. And you'll be able to run that through a Universal G-Code Center. And run that on your CNC machine and uh, create your own little pen plotter just to get started. Thanks again.